In this video in our How To GAN series, the basic physical properties of GAN transistors will be correlated to the electrical characteristics that are important when developing power conversion circuits and systems. The key electrical parameters and ratings of a GAN transistor should give the designer most of the information necessary to design a system with predictable results. The most basic transistor parameters are on resistance and threshold voltage. Furthermore, in order to understand how this device will work when switched on and off, capacitance and the reverse conduction characteristics of the device need to be added. These electrical characteristics will be compared to silicon power MOSFETs to explore both their similarities and differences. Understanding these similarities and differences is fundamental to understanding the extent to which existing power conversion systems can be improved by applying GAN-based technologies. This is an illustration of the cross-section of a typical enhancement mode GAN transistor. In a GAN transistor, the source and drain metals have to connect to the two-dimensional electron gas, or 2-DEG, through the aluminum gallium nitride barrier. This component of resistance is called the contact resistance, RC. Electrons then flow in the 2-DEG with its associated resistance, R2-DEG. The on resistance, or RDS on, of the transistor is the sum of all these resistive elements plus any additional resistance from the other metal layers and connections to the outside world. The resistance of the individual components that make up the total device on resistance will vary with temperature. This plot shows the normalized on resistance as a function of junction temperature. The green line is the GAN transistor and the red line is a silicon MOSFET. The overall temperature of RDS on will depend on the design of the device and how much of the on resistance comes from 2-DEG, contact resistance, or any other parasitic resistances. Enhancement mode GAN devices in commercial use typically demonstrate a variation of RDS on temperature that is about the same as a silicon power MOSFET as shown in this graph. For a power device, the threshold voltage is the gate to source voltage below which the device is turned off. This occurs when the two-dimensional electron gas underneath the gate is fully depleted by the gate electrode. This voltage is dependent upon two components, the voltage created by the piezoelectric strain plus the built-in voltage due to the specifics of the gate metallurgy. This plot shows normalized threshold voltage for a GAN transistor as a function of junction temperature. Because the strain in the aluminum gallium nitride barrier is relatively constant with temperature, as well as the voltages generated by the internal metallurgy, the threshold voltage in a GAN transistor is relatively constant with temperature, as shown here. In contrast, the threshold voltage of a silicon MOSFET will decline much more rapidly with increasing temperature. The transistor's capacitance is a significant factor in determining the energy will be lost in the device during a transition from the on to off state or from the off to on state. The capacitance determines the amount of charge that needs to be supplied to the various terminals of the device to change the voltage across those terminals. Generally, the faster this charge is supplied, the faster the device will change voltage. There are three main elements of capacitance related to a FET the gate to source capacitance, or CGS, the gate to drain capacitance, or CGD, and the drain to source capacitance, or CDS. These three main elements of capacitance are a function of the voltage applied to the various terminals. This figure shows how the capacitance values on the vertical axis change for a 100 volt EGAN FET as voltage from the drain source increases, shown on the horizontal axis. 
The reason for the drop in capacitance as VDS increases is that the free electrons in the two-dimensional electron gas of the GAN device are depleted. For example, the initial step down in output capacitance, or COSS, is caused by the depletion of the two-dimensional electron gas near the surface. The result of integrating the capacitance between two terminals across the range of voltage applied to the same terminals is the amount of charge that's stored in that capacitor. This plot shows the change in gate charge on the horizontal axis as the gate to source voltage increases as shown on the vertical axis. Since the current over time equals charge, it is often very convenient to look at the amount of charge necessary to change the voltage across various terminals in the GAN transistor. This figure shows the amount of gate charge that must be applied to increase the voltage from gate to source to the desired voltage. It can be seen that about 5 nanocoulombs of charge is needed to bring the gate voltage from 0 to 5 volts, which will ensure that the device is fully turned on. Enhancement mode GAN transistors do not have a PN body diode as in a silicon power MOSFET, but they do conduct in the reverse direction in a way that's similar to the diode in a power MOSFET. This figure shows how this body diode forward voltage drop varies on the horizontal axis with source drain current on the vertical axis. It should be noted that this reverse conduction path is formed by turning on the two-dimensional electron gas in the reverse direction using the positive gate drain voltage to enhance the channel. Therefore, if the gate voltage is dropped below zero volts, the reverse conduction voltage will increase by the same amount. In other words, if you apply a negative voltage on the gate, the forward drop of this device operating in diode mode will increase by that same amount of voltage. In this video, the basic electrical characteristics of GAN transistors were discussed and related to the physical characteristics of the device. The characteristics that describe conduction and switching behavior in a circuit are on resistance, threshold voltage, capacitance, and reverse conduction characteristics. On resistance shows variation with temperature for the, a GAN transistor that's similar to a silicon power MOSFET. The threshold voltage in a GAN transistor is relatively constant with temperature. In contrast, the threshold voltage of a silicon MOSFET will decline much more rapidly with increasing temperature. Lower capacitances enable faster switching. Because there are no minority carriers involved in conduction in an enhancement mode GAN transistor, there's no reverse recovery charge, or QRR, is zero, which is a significant additional advantage compared with power MOSFETs. For more detailed information about electrical characteristics of GAN transistors, please see the third edition textbook, GAN Transistors for Efficient Power Conversion or view more videos in this How-To GAN series. And for more information on eGAN FETs and IC products and evaluation kits, go to epc-co.com.